So the question is about Proton XPR. Where do I think a bear market bottom for Proton might be? And this week, if Bitcoin makes you know some type of move up uh, over the next 10 days or whatever, how high could it go uh, in that sense? So short-term analysis, if things are bullish, and then a longer-term analysis uh, throughout the bear market. So let's go get XPR. Okay. Ooh, yeah, this could fall off a cliff. Yeah, you don't want it to. So I remember doing this. If it goes below here, it's going to be bad, 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 bad. That's that's why I, I exaggerated all this. I should probably get rid of this. It's kind of obnoxious, but I did it this uh I did that because there's so many people interested in this. And uh guys, this could guys and gals, this could go a lot lower. Whew. Um it could have a lot of price discovery down, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, it's, and once it breaks this horizontal, just like I told KDA folks, once it breaks this horizontal, it's going to go straight down. And that's exactly what happened after it broke that level I gave. This is going to be key. If you don't have a lot, I mean, just like the bottom of price. If it goes below that, okay, about 0. 0.0026 and closes a daily candle below there, even though I'm on the two-day chart. If you start seeing closer, closures below these closures, it is, and Bitcoin is looking weak. I mean, from a uh, from the second part of the question, how low could it go this bear market? I mean, that will initiate a large move down, and it's likely going to fall back into its, you know, I guess its trajectory right here. It's going to fall back into where the uh, the slope essentially of most trading volume has resided. It, it will it will fall right back, or it'll fall to the. It's already it's actually still in there, but it'll fall to the bottom of it. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll test the bottom of this real fast. Uh, so let's make a quick point of control here. Actually, let me make this a little, let's go to February. All right. So I think bear market could end in February or November, February, 2023 or November, 2022. Um, let me, so that's why those two vertical lines here to mark the timing of what I, you know, just my general guesses of bear market bottom. And am I an authority figure on calling that? No, no, those are just my guesses. They're educated guesses, but they are definitely just guesses. So, and my guesses often are good, but when it comes to timing, I don't know how good anybody's guesses are in a market, really. Timing is something not even high frequency trading algos can get unless they're uh, timing like short moves on one and 2% basis points in. Are obviously making that happen so they can time it perfectly um all right so bear market bottom for this triple o 44 or triple o 17 i can see it going down to one of those two areas triple o 44 Or triple O seventeen, and let me be specific. That is the low for when Bitcoin has a low. Most altcoins, especially smaller caps, they make their low a year to a year and a half. After that, they hit that area, go on a rally, and then go lower as Bitcoin about a year later makes a macro higher low. So if you get these levels. You know, just realize that it could be wise to become a seller in a rally thereafter. In a rally, I'm not saying like a one-week rally. I'm talking about a multi-week, multi-month rally. It, it wouldn't go up 400% in three days like altcoin season. It would be perhaps 200 to 400%, maybe even like 800% over four to six months um, as uh, Bitcoin, you know, crypto, uh, rally, potentially even uh, traditional markets have some type of uh, large rally. All right, now, how high could Proton go if Bitcoin rallies here? Well, this channel, I mean, it gives it away. Uh, it could come straight up to somewhere around 0043. Simple. And I, the reason I say that simple is because it's probably not going higher. Why would I say it's probably not going any higher? Because that's the top of the trading channel. It hasn't violated it once. 
So if it if Bitcoin goes on a nice big rally, no, like even no matter how big it is, I don't think so. That's a forty two percent move. It could happen. I'm not guaranteeing this will happen because I can't get you know even if Bitcoin pumps up to twenty eight k, I can't guarantee that'll happen. But if Bitcoin you know does rock and roll with higher local highs up to twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight k, which is possible still, uh, I think that's where this will stop. And I would, you know, if, you know, not, not financial advice to you, but if I held this currently, I would want to become a seller into that rally as it approached that level personally. I'm not giving you any suggestions, but that would be a, f a very obvious point for short-term price action. Because then, you know, if you're to do that and it did go down from there, you could have, you can buy more down lower. So if you want more Proton, you sell your Proton strategically um, and safely. But uh, it, yeah, so that is Proton, both long-term and a short-term price analysis.